and how clean it is. A lot of glass. This is a Shalom Baranis design building, so there'll be a lot of glass and very, very, very innovative. It will be, we are shooting for elite silver. So, and Giant informed us they're going to lead, uh, shoot for elite silver also, which is not an easy task for a grocery store. Um, because if you imagine all the <coughs> energy they use to cool uh, the, the, their product. Uh, this is a view of looking down the rooftop uh, amenity package. Uh, this will have a uh, demonstration kitchen, a communal with um, fire pits, outside space with fireplaces, grills, a lap pool. This is Armin's pool because he promises to go there and swim. Uh, um, and this but is, will we be able to go there and swim? Um, if you if you rent an apartment, you'll be able yeah. to go there and swim. Um, and then this is the view back towards the Capitol. Um, so it does have some great views of the Capitol. And that's the, the same answer for Armin. If he lives there, he can swim. So I think he's thinking about going there. Um, and there's the fire pits. So a uh, couple real quick things. Um, we're also going to have a dog park, but I just wanted to show you one image of the of the hotel. Um, so this is this is the hotel view. This is on 9th and, and O Street. Um, Cambria Suites is a, a concept of um, choice hotels. It's their high brand, and it's actually a notch above a Marriott Courtyard, maybe a couple of notches. They will have a full restaurant, which will open, be open to the public on the second floor. They will serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's um, Wolfgang Puck is their uh, chef, typically, for this brand, for this restaurant. So uh, we're very excited with outside seating, overlooking 8th Street, um, and also spilling out into the courtyard. Uh, so I think that's going to be terrific. So what's, what's taking place so far, we are filed our uh, financing with HUD. And you can imagine it being the, the lender of last resorts in the last few years has been inundated with a number of uh, proposals. We, we have um, been accepted. Uh, it is going into their central committee uh, approval. Hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have our invitation. We have taken our des development plans all the way to 85%. What typically happens in a development or a conventional financing, we would have started by now because you can start with your sheeting and shoring and then you follow up with your full design plant buildings uh, plans. Our building plans are much farther along than any other project that's, that's going to start in the city because of the financing. Uh, the city has committed to sell its TIF bonds and is actually going out to an RFP and we'll be choosing bond council. Uh, those bonds will be sold at the simultaneous closing with HUD financing <coughs> which we expect to be July, August of this year. Giant has agreed to uh, stay open as long as it can and even allow us to do some work while they're open and, shut, and shutting down. As you recall, there are also we're going to have a, uh, uh, a bus service to their other stores and we're also going to uh, pay for Peapod um, delivery for the community for folks who can't get to the other store. Um, so that, that will get more inf information out to the community about that and how we can make sure that everyone is still getting their fresh groceries while we're in the construction. As you know, Giant will close, and hopefully it's only for 18 months, but up to two years until we deliver this new store. Um, but we will we will do everything, and they will do everything to endeavor to make sure that everybody has access to other, uh, some of their other stores. I think Tivoli and um, Rhode Island Avenue is going to be their uh, primary <coughs> location, so they're going to be bringing people to it. Um, We've also had to go through a 106 process, which we did. We were successful. We are uh, we had pulled permits for the bracing of the old market building and the dismantling of the west uh, wall to, uh, for the rebuilding for the to accept the giant. We have uh, been negotiating with Park to finalize our construction GMP bid, and um, we have um, we're pretty very close to executing our. Our agreements with Choice and Cambry, which will invest another $50 million into the project uh, to build to bring their hotel. And the hotel will, they, they've agreed and signed off on the first source agreements, and so has Giant. Um, and we've also brought Bazudo uh, <coughs> Management Company, which manages over 30,000 units on the East Coast, to come in and help us with the property management. And they are also. Um, going to provide us with, and they have provided us with pre-development and also construction administration. 
And they are actually, we are in discussions with three groups right now in bringing the 86 market rate, uh, actually affordable units, of uh, the senior housing along with the first phase. So we're now in discussions with how to, how to accomplish that. Um, and I'm available and Susan's available for any questions. All right. Um, in the interest of time, uh, unless uh, the commission has any questions uh, for Richard, this project is in my NC single member district. I move that advisory neighborhood commission. I move that advisory neighborhood commission to see uh, support uh, the raise permit application uh, to demolish the building currently at 1414 8th Street Northwest, uh, better known to people in the community as the giant food store. Uh, and that we communicate uh, that support to the Department of Consumer and Regulatory Affairs, and I would ask for a second. A second. It's been properly moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 That's unanimous. Thank you very much. And we look forward to uh, seeing further progress on site. at. Uh,